guys, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Jamie and today we're going to do a full walk around video on this 2009 Mazda BT50 SDX. Now, we'll start off at the front of the car, we'll run you through some of the features and also the condition as well. First thing you can notice about this car, beautiful bull bar that's on the front of the car. Actually protects the whole front, even goes around the sides as well. Uh, you can also see nice Mazda BT50 badging in the middle of it too. And you also do have the fog lights fitted down the bottom as well. So really good bull bar and obviously that's protect the front of the car really well. Um, and because the bull bar sits up so high, it's actually protect the car from a lot of stone chips as well, which is always good. We'll come around and we'll look at the first alloy wheel. As you can see, pretty much brand new tyres fitted on the vehicle, BF Goodrich tyres, all terrains, um, and the wheels themselves, they're pretty much unmarked as well, really good condition for a 2009. You can also see that you do have, do have these wider sort of flares um, on the car, so you can fit the bigger tyres in, um, and just good contrast with the paint makes the car look a lot better as well. Do you have the side indicator integrated into that side fender as well. Do you have your 3 litre DI turbo badging in there, so direct injection turbo. Uh, and then we do have the chrome side mirrors and the door handles as well with the little black, black trim around it just to give it a good contrast. You can also see that the, side, the alloy side step has been fitted as well, so it makes life getting in and, need, uh, in and out of the car much easier. Uh, I'll just unlock the car real quick, give me two seconds. There we are, we'll take a look inside the car as well and just keep in mind that this is a 2009 vehicle. As you can see, the condition um, that this car presents inside the car as well, uh, you, wouldn't, you still wouldn't believe it's a 2009. All the trim's intact still, even when we get lazy and keep, uh, kick open the door, that's minimal wear there as well. So really good, um, and the previous owners kept it really well. Keep working our way down, no major scratches on the doors that are worth pointing out. Your fuel door is on the driver's side. Um, as you can see, the rear alloy wheel as well, unmarked again with a brand new, or pretty much brand new, um, all-terrain BF Goodrich tyre as well. 4x4 badging down the bottom. And then as you can see, we do have the ARB canopy on top as well with the ARB uh, roof rack as well, or not the roof rack, the roof tray, sorry. We'll come around to the back of the car. Where you can see tow pack being fitted as well, and you do have the rear step, and then you've got all your chrome badging as well. Now I'm just gonna open up the uh, canopy real quick and show you inside the car. So as you can see, even for a 2009, again, real minimal wear, for, if you think about it. The car is 10 years old, um, and you would think it would have had a tub line or something like that, but it actually hasn't. Um, so if you do uh, think about getting a tub liner, I would highly recommend it um, and it will definitely make the back of the car look almost brand new again. But as you can see, still fantastic condition as well. Close it up, we'll keep working our way down the passenger side of the vehicle. Again, you have all your 4x4 badging on the, on the passenger side as well. You can open the canopy from either side as well. Again, brand new tyre with an unmarked alloy wheel. Keep working our way down. There are a couple minor scratches here and there, but I mean the car's 10 years old, so nothing inconsistent. Uh, for being super, super picky for you guys, there's just that little mark there, really. That's the only major mark there that I can fault on this vehicle. Then coming to fourth and final wheel, even the wheel that you park right next to the curb, that's unmarked as well with a brand new tyre. So as you can see, guys, four really good tyres, fantastic wheels, and the exterior condition of the car presents just as good as it should. All right guys, take a look underneath the bonnet now. So what we have here is the three liter four cylinder turbo diesel engine producing 115 kilowatts of power and also 380 newton meters of torque. Do have a five speed uh, automatic gearbox in the vehicle. 70 liter diesel uh, capacity tank. It gives you pretty good fuel economy for a car from 2009 as well. So 10.4 liters combined. So out of that 70 liter tank, you can expect a maximum of 778 kilometers. Hey guys, take a look inside the BT50 now. Starting off with the driver's side door, you do have power windows for all four windows. You have a bu little button here that you can lock the windows. So if anyone's getting a bit annoying, you can lock them out. And then you have all your mirror controls here as well. Now behind your steering wheel, you just have this little, this little wheel um, so you can actually adjust the brightness in the center cluster. Uh, then on your right hand stalk, you have your fog light controls, your indicators and your headlights. And on the left hand stalk, you have your windscreen wipers. Now as you can see with the steering wheel itself, for 2009, still really good condition. It does have a bit of, bit of minor wear here and there, but as I said, 2009. Uh, your handbrake is actually located down here, so it's just as easy as you pull it and then you turn it. And then the same thing, you just pull it and turn it um, to put it back on as well. Now into the main entertainment system now, um, you do have a six CD stacker um, seat uh, radio. So it does have AM FM radio as well. Also has uh, a little AUX just down below here, so you can plug in your phone and listen to music and then all your hard buttons just down to the side to control that. Down below you've got all your hard buttons for your climate control so just as easy as turning it to exactly where you need the air and what temperature and where you want it to come out from. Um, and then down below, as I said, you do have the AUX uh, capability. Good amount of storage down here. 
you get two 12 volt sockets so you can charge two phones two cup holders of course and then as i said before your automatic gearbox now it does have different gears so if you are towing you need a bit more power you can drive it normally just in drive or you can drop down a couple gears so three two or one to get a bit more power and torque as well it is a four x four so you do have your four wheel drive selector here so you're two high four high and four low um, so you can just to adjust it where you want um, and when you need it as well and inside this leather wrapped armrest so it, um, it is pretty soft for the age of the vehicle as well uh, there are two different compartments in there so you have the top one there good amount of storage in there and then you actually have a second compartment uh, where it's much bigger and you can put a lot of more a, a lot more things in there as well now i'm just going to get the camera person to pan around the interior and why he does that i'm just going to run you through some of the service history as i know this vehicle has good service history so we'll just pull out the uh, book real quick. So, no, sorry, that's warranty information. Oh, it is the one, sorry. I had the right one. I just didn't pull it out. So I'll just quickly show you the service history. As you can see, um, the amount of service this car's had, 1,400, and that's the one there as well, 6,000, 13,000, 25,000, 34, 44, 60, 73, 83, 95, 106, 115, 124, 135, 142. So as you can see guys, the cars are 142 now and that service was done by us but you can just see how many services was actually done with this vehicle. Hey guys, hopefully that's given you a really good representation of not only the condition but as you can see a lot of added accessories to this car as well. The bull bar, the canopy, the roof tray and the roof racks. As you can see the previous owner's done a great job not only maintaining the vehicle but also accessorizing it as well. Now the number to call if you'd like to book a test drive, 99070 A Couple things before I go though. This car will qualify for our premium mechanical protection plan. So it's gonna give you an additional five years up to 200,000 kilometers of, manu uh, sorry, of mechanical and electrical protection. 10 years at premium roadside assist and also unlimited claims up to $3,600 per claim. Now this plan I talked to you about is an additional cost, but if you do use that in-house finance, Julio Mario, our business managers, would be more than welcome to talk to you and show you how minimal it will adjust your payments. Now last thing before I go, with a 4.8 star rating on Google, with over 920 reviews from Australia-wide customers, not only can you be sure you're buying a fantastic car with the right amount of accessories, but you're also buying from the right dealership and the right people as well. Again, number to call, 9907055. My name is Jamie and thank you for watching.